Hello. So it's Wednesday. You know what that means, right? Wednesday at noon. It's time for us to gather to do our noon Wednesday spiritual mind treatment. And what you will notice today is we're doing something a little differently. I'm going to do two separate live videos. First live video is spoken prayer. And then that video will end. And then the second live video will be me signing the prayer. So they will be two separate. Okay. So in this moment, as we anchor in and prepare to know that which is truth, we simply anchor and breathe, recognizing this breath as the connective tissue to this present moment. Recognizing this breath as the connective tissue to this present moment, meaning we cannot breathe the next breath we cannot breathe tomorrow's breath. We cannot hold on to yesterday's breath. We can only breathe this breath right here and right now. And because we can only breathe this breath right here and right now, we are forever anchored to this moment that is the present. And as we anchor into this present moment, we anchor into that power and that presence that is life itself. Anchoring into that power and presence that is life itself called by many names. God, Source, Spirit, Universe, the One Mind, Love, the Infinite Tao. Recognizing that it is all of that and that which is beyond all of that. It is the named and the nameless. It is the infinite and the eternal. And it is exactly what we are. And so in this moment, allowing that presence, that truth to simply be what it is as us. I speak what I know. I know that this power and this presence that is life itself, that is God, that is source, that is spirit, that is love, that is infinite wisdom, that is infinite creativity, infinite imagination, infinite infinity, is exactly what I am. Because that which it is, is all there is. And because it is all there is, then it must be exactly what is living, moving, and having its beingness as me and as everyone who is watching this video right now, anchoring into this truth, anchoring into this prayer, anchoring into this infinite knowingness of who and what we are as life itself. And knowing that, then everything that is of it, that is what it is, must also be what I am. And so the infinite wisdom of creation itself must also be the infinite wisdom showing up in, through, and as this being, this individualized incarnation of the one that I am. The individualized incarnation of the one that everyone is, and yet there is only one, one power and one presence. Knowing that this power and this presence is all there is, then I know that what exists in its mind, that mind, the only mind, must already be so. And so when I speak these words, a world that works for all, that world is already in the mind of God. And knowing it is already in the mind of God, then it is already in my mind and it is already fully formed and fully functioning. And knowing that it is already fully formed and fully functioning, allow these words, I allow these words to speak that truth. Knowing that in a world that works for all, there is love. And that love is now. There is communication, clear, concise, meaningful and compassionate. And that is now. That there is cooperation, collaboration, synergy beyond walls, beyond borders, beyond territories, beyond nationalities. That all of humankind work together, cooperating together, building together, 
honoring life, all life, every animal, every species, every plant, every habitat, honoring, recognizing how to create sustainable systems of life and energy, products, that in this world that works for all right here and right now, we have vehicles that move on energy that is sustainable and life generating. That we have right now already created systems of how to dispose of, how to recycle, how to regenerate that which we call waste to make it usable in ways that it is no longer filling oceans and killing animals. That in this world that works for all, right here and right now, we have already identified the ways to lift and encourage and sustain all that life is. And so right here and right now, everything that is in my mind, in my emotions, in my words and in my being, I know must be an expression of that which is God. And so in this breath, I allow any feelings that rise up, feelings of fear, feelings of frustration, feelings of anxiety, feelings of depression, feelings of worry, feelings of anything and everything to simply rise, to be recognized, to be addressed, to be healed, to be transcended, to be transformed. So that my thoughts, God's thoughts, my words, God's words. My feelings, God's feelings, and my actions, God's actions, in ways that are more and more life-affirming, with each thought, word, feeling, and deed more and more affirming, more and more declarative of that which I know to be the truth of what God is, of what God is and what of God is as me, and what God is as every single human, every single animal, every single blade of grass, every rose petal, every star, every, everything. Anchored in this in gratitude, anchored in this in a, an overwhelming feeling of thanksgiving, I anchor and know that that which is the law receives and says yes. That which is the law saying yes is already in motion demonstrating and manifesting this prayer as already being what is truth. What already is fully formed and fully functioning as the lived experience on earth right now in this breath. Knowing this to be so, knowing it to be complete, knowing it to be that which is I surrender it. I allow it to be what I know it to be. And together we declare this by saying, and so it is. Ashe, shalom, and so it is. Have a wonderful day. Much love.